Hi, Brenda Luther here. A little talk about how your research proposal all comes together for the completed proposal because I get a few questions and so I hope I can review them. I'm on webcam, hi, but it's kind of discerning to see myself. So I will leave the webcam on for a bit and um, go to my document here. This is a study guide that you've probably seen. I'm using the one that I just updated in April, but um, may have a different one updated by now. You never know. So in SK2, it's really the completed research proposal, and that or in SQT2. So that means that you're bringing in your literature review, the introduction you used in SQ2, and you used it in SQ a couple times, and all the three tasks of SKT2 as well. So let me just talk you through it a bit. Um, this is that analogy I've given you before, the detailed recipe, and it's also it, the analogy in the literature review, it's not an analogy, it's a description of the literature review, and also it's your completed state of knowledge and your 10 pieces of evidence that you've synthesized together in your headings. So you're really um, putting together that great in service that I've, exam I've talked about for you and you're putting about together your proposal for how you're studying your questions. So these are my comments in red and blue in study guides and um, the black is exactly what I've taken from task stream. The first thing you have in this task is an abstract. You've never had an abstract before and we give you lots of examples of abstracts um, and people email and they'll say, well some people say abstracts are 250 words or 300 words. Well this is an abstract before you do your proposal so you're only having an abstract about what you're planning to do. You write it in future tense. You won't have any results or conclusions like you might see in other examples. That's fine. Um, you may consider headings. I like headings, um, background, review of literature, your research questions, your methods, and your implications. That's kind of a nice um, piece. And each of these can be really done very succinctly in a couple sentences apiece. Once you finish your, pro your project, you're going to rewrite your abstract to include your results and conclusions and um, write it in past tense because you finished it. The next thing that's new is a table of contents. So learn how to do that, how to format a table of contents. Word will help you use the help um, button on Word or go to YouTube and watch demonstrations. But a table of con contents for this paper that really reflects when you started your um, each of the sections. So the first section that's really talking now about what you have worked on is the introduction. You've done multiple introductions so far between SKT and SQT. So continue to craft it, bring that introduction forward and make it succinct, make it intriguing, make it specific to your topic, make me understand why I need to read this and, and um, bring it forward, they say two to three paragraphs. Now from D is all your previous evaluated components in SKT2 and SQT2. So it's your literature review, your problem statement, your actual literature review, and your hypothesis or research questions. So really this is SKT um, task three parts C and D. Really uh, just go retrieve those just as I said here below our task three parts C and D of SKT2. Um, if you didn't put headings prior to this, you really better do this now. Um, they, what is in these bullet points should be your headings to guide your reader. You don't have bullet points in your paper, but these are your headings that you'll actually include in your table of contents too. Then you get to research design all the way down, and the, this is what you have in, in test three of SQT2. So you put those together and you have a completed proposal. The one thing that you're going to um, include here is a conclusion. It's not the conclusion of your study, it's the conclusion of this proposal. It's just a time for you to reflect back. What would you do differently? What was most challenging? Uh, what intrigued you the most? What do you plan on doing with this proposal? 
Um, it's just reflective time. So it just shows your thought about what, it, what you were thinking about before you started and then what you moved to towards the end. Then you have an appendix. Now appendix, if you look at APA, appendix follow your, your reference page. And that is your actual instrument that you use. Now you had to turn this in, in SKT, in one of the tasks. So um, go ahead and put it in there again. And of course you'll have all kinds of references. G says if you use a source, well there's no if because at least you have the 10 sources in your literature review, but you may have other sources in your introduction and you may have sources in your methodology where you use Tappan to defend your overall plan, your methodology, your research design, or your sampling plan. So that is um, my story about SKT2, the completed proposal. One last note, this task really helps you develop the abstract and proposal that you can take forward to your institution. Once you are passed on this, this is a great time for you to think about talking to your institution, ask them what kind of approval they're going to require from you to do your study. So good luck with this. Thanks. Bye.